like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that that get too far ahead of you. Know who I be. Follow me on IG. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, who will be by later tonight. There's so much to talk about. I want to break down a couple things. Uh, past week, I've been on vacation. Take the family on vacation. I went to Myrtle Beach this year. Not like the, 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 the dirty hood part, you know what I'm saying? Like the boardwalk. All of that, I got to take my kids out, have fun, because I feel like, and I feel like in life, it's essential sometimes to just, you know, wind down, have fun, go out, enjoy. And I seen a lot of the things that was going on, a lot of the things that were spoke about, a lot of the, you know, shit that goes on in battle rap every day. Nothing changes. So I feel like, even though, you know, I took a couple days off, I ain't really miss much. You know, Twitter is there, you see things on social media. And I will say this, um, so, Miss Hustle versus Loso and a couple other, another battle from the bullpen card got canceled. Um, I want to talk about John John and Don's pandemic card and I'll talk about uh, what I think about the quote unquote back out, so whatever the case may be, where the battle's blocked and how I feel. This is just my personal opinion for entertainment purposes only. Do not get frustrated by my views, entertainment purposes only. You know, miss me. It is what it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Shout out to the Lakers last night. One, my brother is a huge Lakers fan. So I be hoping they win. And Kobe's also my favorite player. But y'all know I'm Nets World. So, uh, John John has a car going down called Pandemic on Bullpen Battle Leagues. It's going down April 15th. Uh, 4730 Frontage Road, Forest Park, Georgia. Tickets on thepandemic.eventbrite.com. Pay-per-view is on rapgrid.com slash the pandemic. It's by Rapgrid, ruin your day. John John and Don Hip Hop is real and BMI. Uh, they have Geechee Gotti versus Bad News. Supposed to be Loso versus Miss Hustle. Clone versus Av. Shotgun Shug versus Bonus. Shuni the Rapper versus Cashflow Rizzy. Excel versus D Flames. Reggie P versus Super Black. Young Herb versus 7J. Philly Hayes versus Alias. And OG Grizzly versus Moon. Now, Here's the deal. John John created this platform to give artists a look, to get people battles. You know, it's helped a lot of careers. Loso got it out the mud on bullpen. Trez was on bullpen. Bad News was on bullpen. Clone, a lot of different MCs came up and got these looks and shots. When you were up, wasn't fucking with some of y'all, I seen y'all on bullpen. I seen Briz versus Loso. I don't know Lowe's, but I'll approach Lowe's with the Toso to the end. That was actually one of the, one of the last joints I seen Briz in. The joint, you know. Trenta Cinco and Yocho. Come on, my nigga. Like, y'all niggas know that battle, man, when Briz went fucking crazy on Loso. And, you know, a lot of other people have got, have had good battles on bullpen. Um, Clips battled over there. Uh, uh, Calico battled, not, yeah, Cal no, not Calico, Clips battled over there, uh, DNA has battled over there, uh, I've seen B-Dot battle over there, uh, A-Wars battle, like so many people have battled on bullpen, and my thing is this, right, you have situations where uh, a guy is putting their own money, putting together these cards, getting their own resources, their own camera crew, hiring and ruin your day, avocado is not cheap if you don't know. Avocado is not cheap. He does Yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! He's not filming battles with iPhones. He's not filming battles like the way they did in the DVD days. He is putting together a lot of work, resources, and money. And though, even though John John is, you know, cool, rocks with, I don't even want to call it brothers and sisters because some of the shit that I be seeing nowadays don't be brother and sisterly. So associates with a lot of these battle rappers and he puts these cards together, and then MC start backing out. You know what I'm saying? You got no Loso versus Miss Hustle, and now no Shotgun Shook versus Bonus. And trust me, to the MCs, some of y'all may watch this and get in y'all feelings, but I really don't care. We be getting calls and messages. We hear the reasons why y'all be backing out of these battles, and they be looking crazy as hell. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too. I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. 
So, Ms. Hustle's not doing the battle. You know what I'm saying? To me, if you're asking me, it looks like URL blocked this shit. It looked like BG's little block captain got on his job and wasn't doing it. But what's crazy is that John John's cool with URL, they got a relationship, whatever the case may be. Why is the battle getting blocked? So I'll tell you what the tell what what the message or the text that Miss Hustle had put out as far as between her and Loso and what she said. She basically said this. Uh you told John John you ain't wanna do the battle. That's what he said. What we doing? I'm still open to doing the battle. What are we doing? Loso replies, yeah, when he called me and told me all the back and forth with Beasley and you, we just agreed to dub it. He didn't say that, but you not doing it correct. And Loso said, not this Saturday. And Miss Hustle said, copy. And Miss Hustle also said, so she says, A, battle a new opponent you think is easier to beat. B, Dub a battle with somebody who's already prepared and you've been writing for. C, let them blame it on Beasley. D, all of the above. Good night. I'm doing D, blaming it on all of the above. Because I keep hearing these scenarios and these situations where the conversation, oh, he spoke to Beasley. Oh, the conversation with Beasley. These niggas might not block it, but they make the situation very uncomfortable for MCs. I don't care what nobody says. I hear, I see. And battle is be telling me what the propositions be. They will not often just come straight out and tell you, no, you can't do this, no, no, no. But they make the situation uncomfortable. See, URL wants they, they want their property loyal to them. They want they want the, uh, a girl that's gonna be my my daddy over there. They want a my daddy over there. They don't even want you looking at these niggas. If you look, who who told you you look at the ground when you with me? Who told you to look over there at these? You took an offer. You took a fucking. Oh, I wish you would take an offer. They want their hoes loyal to them. They don't want nobody that's gonna look around and gonna look outside and see some money. They don't even like that shit. So when they see that, they be on it and try to smack and get that shit out the way. They want their property loyal to them. That's just the way it goes. I'm not saying Hustle's on a contract. I don't, I don't know about that, and I'm not saying she is. But what I'm hearing is allegedly, with a lot of these MCs, they make the situation uncomfortable when they want to go places in battle, right? And so that battle ain't happening. And if they did this, right, if they make a situation uncomfortable for a battle like Loso versus Miss Hustle, well, let's be honest, we don't even really care about. I mean, it is what it is. If we saw it, we saw it. But that wasn't no battle. That like, I'm gonna just be honest. This battle was supposed to happen a year ago. It didn't happen. They rebook, rebook, rebook. We don't even be hyped for that shit no more. And I heard that Hustle got her money already in full. If <laughs> now, <laughs> John, John, I, I, this, that's some different shit. To get paid all your bread up front and then want more bread on the back end after you already got paid. Listen here, I ain't jacking it. It is what it is. I don't got no issue with none of these battle rappers, but I call that call so I can't spoil it. And I see and I hear what's going on out there. So Hustle's not doing the battle with Loso, and now Shotgun Shook's not doing the battle with Bonus. Do I have all of the clear information as to why? I don't know, but I will say this. John John ain't out here running no damn charity. And a lot of the names that's not gonna be on this card or that backing out of the battles for whatever reason, they people at the top of the card. And these cards, the bottom of them, the whole bottom halves of the cards, be all new and newer guys. You know what I'm saying? Or people that don't have big names. Excel versus D Flames, Reggie P versus Super Black, Young Herb versus 7J, Philly Hayes versus Alias, OG Grizzly versus Moon. He's not putting together a card with those names. He's putting together the card with the names at the top to attract them in to draw some sales and hopefully the people that's at the bottom could get them looks. But when you niggas back off the top of the card, it makes the bottom of the card have to elevate. You just took two battles off the top of the card. Now you got Geechee Gotti versus Bad News. Three rounds, and, all, and these battles are three rounds. Phenomenal battle. Bad News has earned that. He went on a crazy run. He's been winning battles as of late. He's been doing this motherfucking thing. He just had a battle with Payne on RBE. To get a look versus Geechee Gotti, who, you know, he's not at the super, 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 super top level of his game. And I tell you what, they saying there's 10 bands on the floor for Geechee Gotti versus uh, Bad News. Uh, I was watching, um, you know, I've been hearing and watching and seeing some things. And I, I heard and I watched Chris Bias' blog last night. He was saying it's 10 bands on the floor. I'm going to add, I'm going to double down on that. You better not. <laughs> you better not. You gonna let this man come from LA into your league and take that money off the floor? If you lose, it's gonna get crazy for you. I'm telling you what, you gotta win that battle no matter what it is. A month, 
bad news. This is a must win battle for you. You know what I'm saying? You niggas don't be getting no $10,000 like that. Niggas don't be making $10,000 a battle. You let this nigga walk in and take $10,000 from an NFL nigga, he's on the Jets now. You let him walk in there and do that, it's gonna look crazy for you. I'm gonna give you a chance. I, 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 if you know like I know, you might want to win because now I'm in tune. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm definitely gonna watch this battle. This is a very, very big battle for bad news. You better get crazy because everything that you did up to this point leads to Geechee Gotti. If Geechee Gotti comes in there and beats you or smokes you, when Geechee Gotti be like, you know, when he comes into these independent leagues, he be doing a lot of freestyling and shit. Let's just keep it honest. In order to keep it a buck, you gotta be honest. He be coming in there just freestyling. You let this nigga come in there freestyling and beat you for ten grand. It's gonna set you back fall. Real, real far, probably down there by the reservoir. You know what I'm saying? Keep it right. I'm just, uh, just calling it like I call it. Uh, and Clone versus Av, phenomenal battle. Clone's been punching for a while. Uh, it's good to see him come up to get an Av, and that's a battle that I definitely want to see. I'm not gonna hold you. I want to see Clone versus Av. Uh, Clone is a big fixture in the bullpen. He's been getting a lot of looks, and I want to see if he's gonna be able to take it to that next level. A win versus an Av could bode very well for Clone. Uh, I will say this, in some of Clone's battles versus bigger names, he hasn't really overtaken them. I seen him battle Big K, but that was on like a fucking 36 minute pre preparation time. These niggas was like, <laughs> they battled in like no time. So, uh, I, I, I do look forward to it. I want to see what Av's been doing. Uh, Av, we haven't seen Av in a little minute, you know what I'm saying? I heard he battled Truefoe. I didn't see how that go. You all got that shit locked in the vault. Uh, so we'll see whenever that joint is released. But. Uh, yeah, man, um, nasty work, nasty work. Cause y'all MCs, y'all keep doing this shit back in all these cars within like 24, 48 hours, 96 hours, three, four days, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, John John looking out, he putting money in. Niggas is accepting these battles, taking the bread, and then coming up with bullshit excuses as to why they can't do it. Is it groundbreaking? No, but the pay-per-view, niggas is buying the pay-per-view based off the names. So when the names is accepting these battles and then they backing out or, oh, I can't do it, or, oh, we can just make it up in four months, or, oh, 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 oh. Bro, like, come on, man, like, what are we doing here? Y'all fucking up his money, honestly, because now he done paid you and then you're not doing the battle. So people that was looking for it is looking at the card like, okay, it's a cool card, but it's missing people that was going to do it. Bro, really? Yeah. Why? Why not? And I think that John John, as a league owner, for what he's done and the shit that he's put out there to help other people get on, it's kind of fucked up. I'm just going to be honest with you. With friends like that, who need enemies? Especially when niggas is calling themselves your people. And then they go on Twitter basically like, yo, I ain't taking the battle. Beasley didn't block the battle. I don't care. I ain't doing it. Like, what? Niggas is paying y'all out of their pocket. Like, these ain't no leagues that's paying y'all. It's working niggas that be paid. Like sometimes in a lot, and I'm gonna tell y'all, in a lot of these leagues, like the Gates of the Gardens and these independent leagues that don't have companies that's backing them, a lot of the opponents be having to pay the person that they're paying, that they're battling against. So when you see like a whole card full of like uh, Jack Boy and drugs and bill collectors and aces and all of these niggas versus people you've never seen, all of those people you've never seen have to pay the other person to battle. For like a one rounder, you know what I'm saying? Paying them 800, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. They pay the other person. So when you're paying someone, you will hope that you at least get a return on your investment because the person is paying that, they're paying for the potential of the other person. So it's like if the person got a name, you paying that name to stand in front of you and you want to get the content. But, you know, come on, man. Y'all got to do better than that. But do I feel like, and I feel like the battle was blocked? Yeah, I feel that way. And, and I do. And, and the thing is, like, uh, and I want, I want to go to this last part, right? This is the reason why when I heard Easy the Block Captain didn't tell URL about the Miss Hustle, I mean about the uh, Hitman battle, I see why. I see why. Why am I surprised that he did not tell them about um, Hitman Holler battle? Would you tell him? When you just look, look at this shit. They got bullshit for Miss Hustle versus Loso, a battle that nobody even gives a fuck about. I'm gonna just be honest with you. If we'd have saw it and it would have been good, we'd have watched it, we probably would have spoke about it. But there's certain battles that before they even happen, you know there's gonna be a face-off, you know there's gonna be a battle, you know there's gonna be a recap, you know people are gonna be blogging, blogging, blogging on it. This wasn't one of them. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Murder Mook versus Big K, that's one of them. Hitman Holler versus uh, Easy, that's one of them. You gotta plan your day, yo. We gonna watch the battle afterwards. We gonna make sure we recap. We might have to talk about it again the next day. This wasn't that. 
This wasn't that. It wasn't. I'm, I'm sorry. It just was not. If it would have turned out good, we would have watched it. But I, I don't. I feel like this shit got blocked. Period. And it is what it is. But they, they got the right to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I was talking to an artist yesterday. They don't block. If they don't block it straight up, they can make the situation very uncomfortable for you. They can. They can make it like, oh, you know, everybody else, you want us to put you on the next car, but you going over to the ops. They call the ops, the ops, the ops. Bro, these niggas have turned battle rap leagues, business people that are working to make money and feed their family, they call them ops. I feel like it's a disrespectful term to ops. The niggas be dying and getting killed and losing their lives because of what they call ops. This is battle rap. This is business. This is one league and another league. You know what I'm saying? It's no fucking ops. You're not gonna shoot at each other when you see each other in the streets. But yeah, um, overall, you know, support John John. If you want to watch the pandemic, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be on Rap Grid. I will definitely check it out. Uh, he did ask me. He invited me down there. But like I said, this is a uh, spring break week with the kids and all of that and I don't get a lot of free time off work during the year so when I get it I got to enjoy it you know what I'm saying because uh, my kids and all that they gonna always my family gonna support me if battle rap tell me tomorrow we ain't fucking with you get out of here like they've tried to do a hundred times if once my family's always gonna be there for me so when I get time and when I get things I always 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 prioritize and put them first because when you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't fuck with me, they always gonna fuck with me. So that, for me, family is always first. Like, it, it's just the way it's always gonna be. And I know, you know, people hit me up, where the blogs, where the blogs, where the blog. I have to take a break from this shit sometimes, too. Besides, now that the battle rappers is blogging more than the bloggers anyway, these niggas be having four hour streams, three hours, they on, they online every day. You can find somebody to talk about what you want to talk about when us bloggers, you know what I'm saying, that blog for 15, 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 I don't got four hours. Um, when we take a break, you know what I'm saying? You'll find it out there. I'm sure you will. But uh, Battlers, finally, it was a time that a lot of y'all was rocking with bullpen and you needed bullpen. You know what I'm saying? It was a time when they was booking y'all. They was giving y'all good fights. Don't get y'all, don't get too gassed up to where you niggas get in position and now when John John book you, all of a sudden three days before the battle, I ain't got no bars, I ain't got no cars. I ain't got no cereal. Uh, I can't battle because the moon rose in the east today. We don't give a fuck about none of that shit. For real, we don't care. If you commit to a date and say you're gonna be somewhere, and then the shit's be in Atlanta, and y'all niggas be in Atlanta every week, living in Atlanta at every event in Atlanta. Come on, dog. Only thing I don't like about Atlanta is the motherfucking TSA. I hate that shit. Even with pre-check, it take almost two hours to get through this. I hate that motherfucker. But anyway, enough rambling. Back to the gambling. Y'all niggas stay up. Subscribe to the channel. Gang.